Tonight, we want to look into how central Indiana is preparing for the strong wind and the heavy rain to come. Our Chase Howe's been talking with utility companies about what you can do before Helene starts impacting Hoosiers. If you thought Thursday was windy, you're in for a treat Friday afternoon. According to the yep. latest forecast, we could see wind speeds reach 50 to 60 miles per hour from noon to 9 p.m. Albany Hart with DPW says crews will be working 12 hour shifts until Monday night to respond to calls. They're going to be um, out just making sure that our crews are tackling any downed trees or just obstructions within the right of way to keep that clear for everyone. AES sent this email out to customers ahead of the storm with some tips like to stay away from downed power lines, report your outage and to keep your fridge and freezer closed if your power goes out. We believe that mostly the uh, impacts will be in southern Indiana. Angeline Prodiger with Duke Energy says they cover more than half of Indiana's 92 counties, and she says they're prepared to send crews wherever they need to go. We have the ability to move crews from northern Indiana to southern Indiana. We also have the ability to supplement our workforce with contractors. And so we have been doing outreach to them to be prepared. Along with the wind, heavy rain, which forecasters say could cause flooding in some areas. Now to prevent some of that flooding from happening, you're asked to clear your storm drains like this one. As you can see, it's covered by cardboard. You have grass clippings, leaves, and even plastic bottles, which would prevent some of that water from going down. So again, you're asked to clear it. That way, there's a clear path for the water to go. But no matter where you live, both Prodiger and Hart say you need to be prepared and be safe. Before a storm hits, make sure your computer, your cell phone, your electronics are fully charged so that you can get emergency notifications if needed. We do strongly encourage our drivers to drive safely. Um, this is inclement weather, so make sure that your headlights are working, they're on, um, and that you are driving with an extreme amount of caution. So what about high school football? We have Warren Central against Pike and we have Westfield against Brownsburg. I reached out to those school districts and they tell me they're meeting in the morning to determine if they're going to cancel the games or not for weather. And as that information comes in, we'll update you here and online at WTHR.com. Reporting here in Indianapolis, I'm Chase Howell, 13 News.